doctor. Uh, you know, I'm mayor of one of the largest cities in the call of the Massachusetts. And when Senator Keenan was describing 35 treatment centers, my guess is, based on density and population, Quincy may be a target for one of those treatment centers. And the way the law is written, I don't have any control on where that treatment center could be. We have 22 schools in Quincy, four branch libraries in Quincy, 40 churches and, and places of worship in Quincy. When that center comes to Quincy and the people of my city come to me screaming, it shouldn't go there, it shouldn't go there, I don't have the control to restrict where that goes. I could go on and on in agreement with what Senator Keaton has said, what the good representatives have said, and I'm sure what the district attorney is going to say. This bill is fraught with nothing but problems. It's reckless. I urge the people in my city, Quincy, Massachusetts, to vote no on question three and further add my voice to all the people on the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Vote no on question three. Thank you. Another day, more disingenuousness from no on question three. I wanted to uh, talk about their latest video that they put out that they definitely know is completely uh, false. Yet they still put it out, and they still promote it, and they still tout it. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Uh, Quincy Mayor Koch, I think I said his name right, Quincy Mayor Koch, recently just uh, made a statement in front of the State House at one of their No on Question 3 rallies. What did he have to say? He said that he was worried that if Question 3 passes, that his city would have no control over any of the dispensaries, um, where they were located, that dispensaries could just basically open up shop anywhere they want next to high schools and you know all this crazy ridiculous BS the problem with his statements is they were false completely false um, as you can see right now if you if you if you if you actually do a little research and look into it you'll see the towns of Wakefield the town of Reading the town of Melrose the town of Malden are all considering putting bans on the dispensaries, not allowing them in their cities, and uh, the town of Malden specifically is actually zoning, they're, they're considering zoning for the dispensary, so the dispensaries would only be located in industrial areas. So the mayor is false, doesn't know what he's talking about, either, either A, he doesn't know what he's talking about, or B, he's a lying politician. Um, and C, the more important thing, the biggest thing, is that no one question three, again, is lying to their supporters, lying to the media, lying to the public, disingenuous. Why do I say that they're lying when I'm not sure about the mayor? Well, the mayor has a pass because maybe he doesn't know. No on question three, they know because they're the ones who are promoting this. They're the ones who have gone to the city of the town of Reading, the town of Wakefield, to push these ordinances, to push this new zoning that would not allow dispensaries. They're the ones promoting and trumpeting these towns moving forward with uh, hopefully, in their eyes, banning the dispensaries from their cities and towns. So you can't have it, on one hand, you're trying to get the dispensaries banned in certain cities and towns, and then turn around and say, the cities and towns don't have any say in this, they can't decide. It's a bunch of BS, and again, question, no one question three, disingenuous, lying campaign, bunch of uh, ridiculous how, how can anyone take you seriously? You've lied so many times. I just keep pointing out the lie after lie after lie after lie. How can anyone take you seriously? For anybody that is watching out there that uh, hasn't made up their mind on this and is concerned about their city and town not having any say on it, look at the casinos. The casinos are coming to Massachusetts. There's no city or town that's going to have a casino that doesn't want one. If the citizens of that city or town don't want the casino, the casino is going to move to a city or town that welcomes them. Um, the reality is, is that there are more cities and towns that want the casinos than do not. The same is going to happen with the dispensaries. This is an economic boom. It's good for your patients. There's going to be a lot of city and towns that do want the dispensaries. If your city or town doesn't want them, there's not going to be a dispensary there. It's just as simple as that. There's not even a question. Um, you know, if, if you want to talk about quality of life, let's talk about quality of life. In, in 10 years from now, let's look at casinos versus dispensaries and see which neighborhoods are nicer. See which cities and towns would rather welcome a dispensary versus a casino. I think what you're going to find is most cities and towns, after, after this has gone through, they're more likely going to welcome the dispensary because there isn't going to be the crime that you find with casinos. Vote yes, question three, November 6th. You know what to do.